Welcome back to Pastry Maestra. I'm Teresa and today I'm cooking sugar syrup. First things first, and let me be absolutely clear. Sugar syrup is extremely dangerous substance, so you must, I will repeat, you must have that in mind all the time. If you let your guard down, you could get severe third-degree burns in a second. If you don't know what is a third-degree burn, look it up on the internet. It's too gross for me to show it to you here. So, number one, remove kids and pets from the kitchen. Number two, prepare a large bowl filled with ice water and place it as close as possible to your stove. And number three, practice. Now, I would advise multiple dry runs, meaning instead of the pot with boiling sugar, Place two bowls of water adjacent to one another, one with ice water and another with hot water, and just go through the motions. Dip your hand in cold water, keep it there until you can feel the cold in your fingertips. Then in one swift, fluid movement, dip only your fingertips in another bowl, pull back your hand quickly but calmly and dip your fingers again in the ice water. You see, the secret is this. If you keep your hand in ice water long enough, your skin will be very cold. So when it comes to contact with boiling sugar, the heat of the sugar will be reduced. Your skin will actually cool the sugar. I know that this sounds crazy, but it's the truth. For only a split second. But that is enough time so that you can reach the ice water again, and there the sugar will harden instantly without harming your hand. Now, all this looks intimidating, I know. And it is. But like I said, practice with water and you'll be okay. Now, why do we do this? Well, we don't actually. <laughs> you see, if you buy a candy thermometer, you will never have to touch the boiling sugar because just by reading the display of the thermometer, you will know in what stage your sugar is. If, however, you don't have a candy thermometer or you simply want to learn how to perform this technique so that you can impress your friends, keep watching. Now, in my post, the link is down below you will find detailed information regarding usage of sugar syrup and caramel in various desserts. It is extremely versatile, either as a vital component of a dessert or as a standalone sweet, like, for example, caramel candy. Without it, you absolutely cannot make, let's say, chocolate salted caramels. Or nougat. Not to mention chocolate parfait or lemon meringue tart, etc. Not only that, with caramel you can also make beautiful decorations for your cakes and much, much more. So after watching this video, make sure to read my post, but now stay with me. I will dip my fingers in boiling sugar just for your viewing pleasure. Let's make some sugar syrup. To make sugar syrup, I'm gonna put sugar and some water into a saucepan and gently stir to hydrate all the sugar. The water should cover the sugar. Don't put too much, because you will have to cook syrup longer to reach desired temperature. At this point, I'll brush the sides of the saucepan with cold water to wash down any sugar crystals that could later cause problems to my sugar syrup. Another way to wash down the crystals is to simply put the lid on. Once the syrup boils, the steam will wash down any sugar crystals from the sides of the pan. My syrup is boiling, so I'm gonna remove the lid and put some glucose into the syrup. That will prevent crystallizations of the syrup. I'm gonna insert my candy thermometer with a probe to see at what stage is my syrup. From this point on, I'm not stirring the syrup anymore. The red stage is at 107 degrees centigrade, which is 224 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna take some syrup with a spoon and cool it in ice water. When I rub syrup between my fingers and separate them, the syrup will form a thin thread. Only now, exceptionally, I'm using a spoon to show you this stage, because if I were to use my fingers, sugar syrup would have melted instantly in contact with the ice water. This stage is used for cooking jams and sauces. Soft ball stage appears at temperatures between 116 degrees centigrade and 118 degrees centigrade, which is 240 degrees Fahrenheit and 244 degrees Fahrenheit. 
At this stage, I can form the cooled syrup into a soft, mollable ball. We use syrup cooked to soft ball stage to make Italian meringue, pata bomb, fudge and fondant icing. Firm ball occurs when sugar syrup is cooked to temperatures between 118 degrees centigrade and 121 degrees centigrade, which is 245 degrees Fahrenheit to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. At this stage, I can form the cooled syrup into a firm ball. It is used for making caramel candy, fruit jams and Italian meringue. Soft crack is the stage of cooking when syrup reaches between 135 and 140 degrees centigrade, which is 275 to 284 degrees Fahrenheit. Hard crack is a stage of sugar syrup at temperatures between 145 and 155 degrees centigrade, which is 293 to 311 degrees Fahrenheit. It is used for making bonbons, nougat, sugar decorations of pulled and blown sugar. Caramel is the final stage of cooking sugar syrup. It begins at 165 degrees centigrade, which is 329 degrees Fahrenheit. At this stage, there is no more water in the syrup and sugar starts to break down to many complex compounds. I've continued cooking my caramel and now at approximately 180 degrees centigrade, which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit, it changes color from light golden to deep brown. Caramel color varies depending on the temperature. It ranges from pale yellow to amber to dark brown. Caramel is used to make bonbons, nougatine, creme caramel as a flavoring for various creams and custards or for making caramel decorations. It is important that you learn how to cook sugar syrup because it is extremely versatile either as a component of a dessert or as a standalone sweet. Have fun! I'm Teresa. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you want to stay in touch, follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And of course, visit my site where you can find elaborate posts with lots of pictures, additional information and recipes that follow my every video. Also, on my site you can download my free 365 pages ebook The Pastry Chef and maybe buy me a macaroon. If you think that I've earned it. Now, before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That really helps a lot. Finally, and this is the most important thing, don't forget to create sweetness every day, because sweetness is happiness. See you in my next video. Bye!